And hello, welcome to Buxton. And the latest add-on from Just Trains, the Buxton to Manchester Piccadilly route. It's the Peak Forest add-on for the Midland Main Line. And very nice, it promises to be too. It's our very first look, and you can see straight away the classic Buxton station. And let's, before we set off, have a little look around the town as well. And one or two oddities, and you might think, what on earth is that? And that's all various bits of railways you can see from trackside. And if you think that's a complete work of fiction, well, try watching Don Coffey's video of this route, and you'll see that it's there in reality. And needless to say, there's plenty of interesting posters as well. You've got the disabled ramps there it all looks very very nicely done that's the classic view that you get at Buxton station and what else do we see in the town well we have the Palace Hotel very nicely modeled and then if we move the camera over to there you can see this is the Devonshire Dome Spa, of course, Buxton, a famous spa town. And there you have the Buxton Crescent, and it's also really nice to see the gardens modelled very nicely as well. I think I'm right in saying this might be where the Buxton Opera House is as well. Overall, a very nice representation of a quite beautiful town. So we're due away at 7.02, so let's open the doors to begin with. And let's set the train up. This is one of the older Armstrong Powerhouse packs, so there's not quite so much to do. We don't have the working GMSR, as I recall. Let's begin our journey from Buxton through to Manchester Piccadilly. And one thing you can certainly be sure of is a great attention to detail. All just trains routes, certainly in the last few years anyway. Absolutely incredible with the detail. We've got the all new trees pack as well in terms of their route. These are kind of a byproduct of the Vulcan production trees, I think, with the latest version. And they're bound to attract some people saying they hate them, I suspect. And some people saying they love them, but we'll see. So as we pass the signal box, we have the spur on the right, which used to be the through line to Derby. Now it just goes through to Dowlow Quarry. We've got a very undulating route. We'll be making the climb up to Bibbington Summit. Well, what a few weeks we've got for train simulator in general. I was just watching the Dovetail games stream of the London Overground route between Barking Riverside and Gospel Oak a little earlier. We've got the five circle line coming out 
as well for Trains in World 4. We've already had this week the Network Scott East route from Alan Thompson Simulation. And hopefully the Flirt and the new Gemma aren't too far away as well. So it really is a fabulous time for train sim fanatics. Got a one in 66 climb at the moment. This towards Bibington Summit really is a fabulous route and captures the whole spirit of the Peak District marvelously well. Fabulous place to go and visit for walking and just generally visiting. There's so much to see, such a beautiful area, and on our journey today, we're going to be taking in stops at Chapel on La Free, Whaley Bridge, Furnace Vale, New Mills, Newtown, Disley, then Hazel Grove, Woodsmore, Davenport, Stockport, then Manchester, Piccadilly. it's such a steep climb that at the moment despite the fact that we have the train on full power we're only just about managing to keep it an even speed in fact if anything we're diminishing slightly First station will pass is Dove Holes, but we won't be stopping there. As you can see we're over the summit now and we're actually descending now in 1 in 70. So just conscious of the fact that our speed limit drops to 45 mile an hour fairly shortly. station. Incidentally, Dove Holes apparently features in a single by Louis Capaldi. I rather shamelessly picked up a few facts and figures from the Don Coffee Cab View ride of this journey, which it's well worth watching, if only just to demonstrate what a beautiful job Dovetail Games have done. tunnel of the route, which is Barmore Clock Tunnel. I'm going to have to apply a bit more braking now just to make sure we get down to 20 miles an hour.
again, if you release the brakes, you're immediately feeling that the train is absolutely speeding away. This is Eve's Tunnel. It is possible to ride this route in Train Sim World 4 with the Peak Forest, Peak Forest route. But it hasn't quite got the end point that this has with Manchester Piccadilly. It feels a little bit more, I wouldn't say a pointless route, but it goes to Chinley. You've got Bakewell as it used to be, served by a train line. Apparently that reduction in speed to 20 miles an hour was all about making sure that you didn't clip the tunnel. So it must be quite a tight tunnel. And we just ease ourselves in towards Chapel Olnafreed Station. I do know that this route started production in, I think it was something like November 2022, so it's been quite a long time coming. And it almost felt from the second that the Hope Valley line came out, it felt a natural point to have really. such a lovely route to ride on in real life it's fantastic to get this done in train simulator and particularly by just trains I think it's the man who's called or known as uh, Pennine Pacer who's built this route so I'll open the doors at Chapel on Refreeth Let's have a quick look at the station as well. The Eccles Pike and the Coombs Reservoir. Lovely posters put in place as well. The old uh, signal box as well. I don't know how much has changed but I think this particular scenario was set in 2018. should have Coombs Reservoir coming into view on the right hand side. Can we see that at this moment? There it is. Wow. Okay, we've got a really sharp drop now. 
one in fifty eight. I mean, for me driving this, really, really conscious of those brakes all the time. we get closer to Manchester I'll be interested to see if there's any difference in the frame rates for the last bit because it's such a demanding part of the route and has been prone to the up dump between Stockport and Manchester I don't think they've done a great deal on it maybe the only difference is with the new trees amazing part of this middle and main line bit and to have already have the Hope Valley run from Manchester Piccadilly through right the way through to Sheffield and then the lines to Nottingham through Derby, Leicester Lincoln as well such a fabulous job of capturing the beautiful scenery. This is how resplendent the Peak District would look this time of the year. This is meant to be the summer. Always run all together from Buxton to Manchester. The, the service that they've made available in the pack, running the other ways in a 156. I'm sure there'll be all sorts of scenarios created for this. And also, great to see all the quarries represented as well. And some fabulous quarry runs around the Peak Forest. disconcerting when you feel as though you have to have the brakes on constantly just to uh, feel as though you're in control of this train. It feels like a runaway train in many ways. Now we're coming into Whaley Bridge now. The brakes are pretty effective on this sprinter. Of course, very old units now, introduced in the mid 1980s. Doesn't seem like five seconds ago to me since they were brand new. That's the two car marker. But we are a bit longer than that, so. Okay, 
Hey, look at that old building, the Jodrell Arms. I wonder when that closed. Be interesting to look up. And then just that feeling of uh, Derbyshire. Peak District Village. Very nicely done. Right, well, well, I think we are a little bit behind in time, as you can see, because Furnace Vale, we have a time stop on, and we're supposed to be arriving there at 7.19 and then departing at 7.21 and I don't think we're going to make that. Slightly flatter part of the journey now, this. But it was one of the first thoughts I had when the lovely Hope Valley line came out and it was a nice thought going through Hazel Grove and then on to Sheffield but you immediately thought but the line to Buxton goes up the other way wouldn't it be great if we could have that in the game and here we are now all around here. is closed and I'm waiting for the cars to pass through. A few of the uh, canals, a few barges in there. Waterworks over there. Just the general view of the landscape. for that stop. We are a little bit late. So New Mills, Newtown is next as we see a 156 this time going the opposite way into Buxton. At some point, I'm not sure whether I'll get to take an outside view at the right time, but we should be able to see the Sheffield line in the distance, the Hope Valley line.
see the train line in the distance. Can we over there? Certainly can. a while since I've driven the class 150 as well but every station in this route has been recreated in loving detail Never feel that a just trains route is ever rushed. I mean, even that stuff there with the sports stuff at the back of the school or whatever it's supposed to be, and Some of the quarry workings in the pack seem to be very, very long runs. I'm not totally sure if I could put a stream up with such a long run, but I'm going to try a couple of the shorter runs just to give a flavour of the quarry. But there's so much coming out the next few days. Looking forward to the underground, the overground route. the contrast with a ride through the heart of urban inner city London almost feels To run the scenarios in this pack, you need one or two add-ons, but again, if you've been involved in train sim for quite a while, then you've probably got most of them already. The one thing I don't have is the new 142 pack from Armstrong Powerhouse. I'm actually, I actually substituted them in for the old pack, but there's only a couple of trains that actually um, are using that in this run anyway so kind of didn't seem that important so I think we've got Disley Tunnel before Disley Station itself skirts of Manchester the Manchester suburbs
again, you don't just feel as though this is all about just the line side, and you can see how far into the distance that road goes, and capturing all the distant scenery. You can get a Costa Coffee around there. So our next stop is Hazel Grove and then we are into the Hope Valley territory. is that nowadays okay these fast 150s are quite old but you imagine the time and effort and the sheer hard work of running this in steam days particularly on the uphill stretches Field Canal. We've got Middlewood Station. Pretty much from here on in, you're going to see an absolute labyrinth of houses, very much residential area. We are essentially in the suburbs of Manchester now. Of course, it 
it's an all electric service Hazel Grove into Manchester Piccadilly Just in case we have any issues with the game crashing, hopefully it won't. I'm just going to save it here. Tell you what though, you can always tell how good a route is when the time just seems to absolutely flow away and it doesn't seem like five seconds ago since I was leaving Buxton on this run. stop and we can see a class 185 transpennine unit that's the 185 available from Alan Thompson simulation supposed to happen. That was just because I came outside of the cab and didn't spot that the AWS had gone off, so a little unwarranted stop there. Just wanted to point out Stepping Hill Hospital. slightly premature stop before the platforms at Woodsmore. Never mind. Very 
narrow platforms here. Again, they've not gone overboard with distance scenery here. But it nicely represents the area well. on those signals as well because the last one was a double yellow. And I was reading earlier on, I mean it's Davenport the next station. I think basically this used to be the land of Colonel Davenport and it's kind of, well, how do you make a railway through um, a property such as this or an area where the property is owned by a big landowner? And the answer is appeasing by saying you'll build a station for him and that's exactly what they did here. Nine there on our right. I was quite intrigued by the bridge here. I was watching the Camp View video at lunchtime and I thought, quite interesting this bridge. So we've got this little walkway here in front of it and then the arch bridge underneath. You can see all the attention to detail there with the walkway to the platform. I have absolutely no affiliation with Just Trains other than a great admiration for the sheer time and effort that they've put in creating these routes, but no hesitation in completely recommending this. Coast Main Line. I think you're going to notice a little drop in the uh, frame rates. As we build in the scenery towards Stockport.
That's the old Cheshire Lines Committee route coming in from Chester. On the right, as we look. to do it but wouldn't it be magnificent if they decided to split this bit up and do the west coast main line through to Stoke and Stafford from here I know Alan Thompson simulation might do it one day but Just this area as well is absolutely recreated with tremendous style. And I wouldn't quite want to say that Stockport is a place of great beauty. And I say that without hopefully offending anybody that comes there, but comes from there, but this is absolutely wonderful. Again, you've got the famous uh, Hat Museum there. I mentioned that when I did the uh, St Pancras to Manchester Piccadilly run. Going to be driving along the motorway and under this section is quite a sight. a bit in terms of the performance of the routes depending on the amount of AI traffic in this area and that'll make a big difference. This is Heaton Norris Junction. And you would barely have noticed at 142 that that was the original Armstrong Powerhouse one and not the latest one. current ups into Manchester Piccadilly runs seem to be stopping at Heat Chapel and Levenshume according to the timetable but this one set in the 2018 timetable certainly is not. 
this is. Chapel Station. It's one of my favourite stations on the route. better as I say it might just be because there isn't a massive amount of AI and traffic on it. I'm sure the just trains people have worked hard on making sure that it runs quite nicely. traffic that's for sure maybe it is a bit more stuttery now come through Lemon Tube station yeah just say we're approved Wow, we do have those two little white markers and that's always a sign that actually we do have a through route. And we've got the Manchester Airport and line to Wilslow and crew from our left coming in. Site depot in detail on our right. Yeah, we're definitely a bit stuttery here. But again, once it's kind of loaded in all the detail on the tile it's it's kind of okay now so we've got a single yellow and again it's the sort of thing you would expect you watch many of Don Coffey's cab views into Manchester Piccadilly and you very often held up very very congested 
into the platforms. any thought that perhaps they had just trained slattened off AI traffic in this area well that's certainly not been the case we've been full of trains delay waiting to get into Piccadilly Got the Woodhead route over there to Guy Bridge and on to Hadfield and Glossop, of course. Very nicely done in Trainsim World. Okay, now well, we've got we've got clearance. I hope. Bound Avanti West Coast Pendolino. Well, what a great run this has been. Thoroughly enjoyed the Peak District side of the route from Buxton. The detail on the stations, absolutely superb all the way through. All the custom buildings, the canals, the artwork all the way through. And even though we've done this section of the route as well, the run from Stockport through to Manchester Piccadilly has been excellent as well with a great amount of variety of, of AI traffic. to the platform. I shouldn't be forgetting that it's 15 miles an hour into the platforms. And I do like the version of the station that's on Trains in World, but I have to say this one from Just Trains really does capture Manchester Piccadilly in all its glory. And I can remember the station as it was in the 70s and the 80s, it was quite gloomy, but they've spent millions on making it really bright and airy and the concourse and everything behind. It's such a great station nowadays. So that's just about an hour's run all the way from Buxton to Manchester Piccadilly and what a 
great pleasure it's been to do this run. And hopefully as you're watching this, we're just about 24 hours since the release, if you're watching this fairly early on. course you can see the timetables represented there and all the shops and the only thing it's lacking is that all the millions of people milling about kind of going out towards where the tram bit goes now So I hope you've enjoyed it. That's my very first look at the Just Trains, Peak Forest and Buxton add-on. Well worth a buy. I could highly recommend it. But from me, for now, it's Power Flower Trains and Planes. If you've liked this video, then if you don't mind liking and subscribing I would be enormously grateful but until next time and it's not going to be too long with all the new content that's coming out in the next few days for now it's goodbye <laughs>